Hey guys, this it couldn't be more perfect. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's a coffee, right? Oh, it's there. Thank Thanks a lot, man. All right, it's perfect. Check it out. So this is after the experiment. All the Taco Bells only accept WTF Green Party members. Now, well, it's funny, you know this is all live. They only put ACDC or something. Just everything that's on there is just the bad songs of every group. They just said, let them copyright infringe it. We're gonna, we're gonna charge them. Yeah, if they charge the Lord and his people. So, you know, it meant no assholes, right? That was the experiment. That's the Green Party. You can be any nationality, any race, any religion. As long as you're not an asshole, as long as you're not a dick, you can come to this Taco Bell. It's run by all these people. What was funny is I was like, I, it's natural, so who's gonna come in? Is it gonna work with the movie? Everyone was special. But what was funny is, none of them were white, like me. I told you we were doing the opposite, so instead of dark like me, what was it, black like me? Yeah, I read it in, I read this book in, in the 70s. I think it was in third grade. And um, it was called uh, Black Like Me. Oh, it, it's this guy, he's a journalist. And uh, he was a white journalist and he, he was friends with all these black people, but friends with all, you know, everyone in this small town. And uh, he did this experiment where he injected him himself with this pigment, kind of like Michael Jackson, right? He did a reverse Michael Jackson, the opposite show. And he, he, he became black, very black, right? And every place he went to, everyone, even the ones who liked him before, treated him so differently and the whole story gets it's the reality of how it was then. And I feared because of the COVID, it become like our new reality is gonna be like that, but hidden. And we don't see it. We just see people looking at, saying, oh. And then they're back at their phones. And that lady there said about this order, I was going, wow, this new guy's great. And she said, yeah, he's got a great memory. And I was like, so he would remember when the Lord did a reverse Michael Jackson. And that's the story. We're all, it's happened. See all those free spaces? That's for you, it's for all of you. Even those tweakers, right? Because I got good news. Remember I was saying the glasses got stolen. The tweakers, and then we were gonna say who, who the tweaker was. But this is the happy ending. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna dox this one. We're just thanking you. They gave the glasses back. You know who it was? He said, that's okay. I, just say the lost boy is really, really sorry, he said. The lost boy returned. When he gave me back that dollar, I didn't see that. Yeah, I found him later. Isn't that cool? If you guys saw that other video, it happened. I screamed for that miracle. People said, don't be screaming at God. He's just gonna say no. I said, no, I'm not, I'm gonna scream. And he said, maybe. I got God to say maybe.
I'll be better for that. I'll work for that. I'll think there's some hope. You send me the Dalai Lama? That's a miracle. And you send me the Seinfeld joke with the Dalai Lama, with the photographer who lost my photos, photographer from Millennial. Dude, from, I'm not gonna get over that photo. You guys had all my stuff. Just like YouTube took all that digital stuff, but that analog stuff, I need it back if you lost it. Just like the cop who broke the cello, just like the citizen who broke the cello. It's too expensive for you. How are you, your insurance company, you know, Allstate's dead now. You're not in good hands. Come, join the Green Party. Look, the doctor fixed my hand that those cops messed up, so you watch out, I will be playing the cello again. And Dave, homeless Dave, which one? Uberly homeless or the one who was detoxing in front of all those people during that video when I was playing Wagner. They came, they gave him help. He's still cruising around there. He's doing the same thing, but they gave him the hope instead of just eat these bananas, take our water, why don't you get that? No. And remember when I, I, I tried to offer him a book and he, he was saying he just couldn't. No, that's all right. I gave him a Mad Magazine yesterday. He's loving it. And see, and he'll be reading a book in a week. All right, people, one last shot. Oh, some white people came, so you can't get mad at me. You cannot get mad at the protagonist. I did everything right. Wow. I've never been able to say that. Have you? Please write me in the comments. This is the last movie. Tell me what you thought of them all. If you haven't seen them all, just tell me what you thought of this one. If you want to know, just write me. 4565 Oak Glen Drive, Santa Barbara, California, 93110. Misha Bodnar, cellist from Santa Barbara. You could Google. Google has put me back up. You'll get more numbers there, more places, websites, directions, CD places. It's, it's going to be wild. The game's not over. It's part two. Thanks for letting me do this for two years, you guys. All of you, even the trolls, you know. Everyone who got involved at all in this WTF experiment. If you're a feeling human, if you've joined the human effort, if you make an effort, maybe tomorrow to be human. But you can't be like, I just did something terrible. Eh, we're all human. That sounds like a cliche. And you know what? The Dr. Lord Crichton thinks of these cliches. <laughs>